Hey everyone, how's it going? Fincher NZ back with my latest Pokemon Go video. Um, so about 20 odd minutes ago, uh, Go Snapshot went live. This is currently live for uh, level 40 trainers, level 40 players. I suppose a quick little view on what it's all about. So I selected a Pokemon and here we have the uh, little information screen. Uh, you can take a Pokemon out of its Pokeball and take photos together. You may even encounter a surprise. So that is obviously probably Smeargle. Or Smeargle. Um, find a flat surface and tap on the footprints to place your Pokemon. Just like general AR+. Plus. You can move around your Pokemon to capture its best side. And finally, tap on your Pokemon to get its attention. Brush across your Pokemon to get it to face you. Okay, so as you can see, I did click on a... Uh, a Nummel, so nothing too exciting there, but you know, first impressions. Um, so currently just uh, rotating around it. So obviously this is my first time uh, using this uh, Ghost Snapshot as well. Not entirely sure what to expect. Um, so just rotating around it, you know, wondering what to do, how to place it, etc, etc. Um, so as you can see, I rotate the camera and I take a take a picture. I wasn't sure what was going to happen if it was going to ask me if I wanted to save it or not, but it kind of just keeps it there. Take a few snaps, uh, rotate around it, go you know take a little bit of an aerial shot. Um, did try and get under it as well. Um, so as you can see, once uh, you captured all your photos, you get the uh, so it's a bit of a gallery of everything you've just taken. Then you get the uh, option to share my photos, and so that was the option for social media, uh, so Facebook, Twitter, Discord, etc. Um, so next up, I thought I'd just you know step it up a little bit, try out a Mewtwo. So I went into the uh, Pokemon selection screen, clicked on the um, clicked on Mewtwo, click camera, and there we go, bang, right in front of me. It definitely looks uh, pretty big, but again, you know, I must stress this is uh, first impressions. Not entirely sure what I'm doing. Um, so I was uh, clicking the Mewtwo, and you can see it's doing its little, uh, not sure what you call it, but animation. I mean, <clears throat> if you own a Mewtwo, you can click it in your Pokedex, and that's uh, the same animation it was doing here. Um, so rotating around it, and as you can see, I did get a little bit close to it. So that's something to bear in mind if you want to take some pictures. You can't get, you know, within millimeters, I guess. Um, so it's just like uh, AR+, Plus, you can't get too close. And finally I decided just to take a few snaps of uh, one of my favourite Pokemon, which is Scissor. Uh, also quite a big fan of Scyther. But um, this time I thought I'd just rotate around Scizor. As you can see I just clicked the, uh, the question mark, which is the second on the right on the top left. Just wondering what that was, and it's uh, little, you know, the little tips that you get given uh, when you first start the... Uh, the go snapshot. So as you can see, I'm just rotating around it, uh, taking a few snaps. And I got to say one quick little thing, a little bit of a first impression is I do like the uh, shadows. So you can see the shadows on the ground uh, here with the sizzle and also with the number one notice. Um, you can see it's little, it's clamps, it's claws or it's arms, whatever you want to call it. And also the shadow of its uh, bottom half of, of its body. Anyway, so yeah, as you see, I just keep on rotating around it and finally I end up too close to it again. First impressions, um, it, it definitely it looks good. It's better than AR+. Plus. I mean, you can place the Pokemon wherever you want. You know, you don't have to be in the, the catch screen to do this, to it whenever, wherever. But to be honest, that should have been something that was in the game from day one, basically. I know other games, uh, just like Jurassic World Alive, have this feature. But yeah, all in all, you know, it's a good feature. I can definitely see this being used, especially by Pokemon Go photographers. Didn't encounter a Smeargle, so not sure how to encounter it yet. I'm going to play around with this for a little bit more and maybe it will just pop up. And I did look at my medal section and there was no uh, new uh, Photobomb medal yet, but maybe uh, you have to get Photobombed for the uh, medal to appear. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching my quick view, quick uh, first impressions. Uh, let me know what your impressions are. Thanks for watching.